Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. So, in this following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Wadudo screen prop so that way you can make your streams a lot more interesting. So in case you don't know, the screen prop is basically where you can load images, videos, your browser, um, or even like Spout or NDI stuff. You can do a lot of stuff with the uh, screen prop and I'll show you how to set it up. Click on the plus button right here, scroll all the way down to screen. Then what you're going to do, um, make sure to have it enabled. You can also go ahead in the Wadado viewer and click and drag the arrow so that way it's a little bit farther away from your character basically. Then what you're going to do is um, you're going to go down here. You can set up an attachment if you want it to be attached to your hand or to your head or something or to a different object in your scene basically. Otherwise though, um, Pretty much here in content, this is where pretty much all the stuff happens. So we can have it set to window, browser, image, video, um, whichever you want to showcase. It's really nice, uh, like let's say you're having a viewing party with your audience, you can have it built into um, you can have it built into your scene basically. So let's say for my case, I want to uh, I want to showcase a website on how to cook eggs, and I want to teach everybody how to cook eggs, like scramble eggs, egg over easy and such. So let's click on window. Then you're gonna click here. And and then you're going to choose whichever one is closest to uh, the window that you have. I'm going to click on this one. And then basically, um, if I move my screen, as you can see, it's really, really tiny, um, which I have to go ahead and click on this so it can load properly. Um, just for the sake of this tutorial, it's going to be small, but, um, but I will say, please make sure that you do full screen your browser um, in the final, in your final stuff, basically. But right here, um, we can have the appearance be different actually. So kind of like, have you ever seen V draw with their big screen basically? It's pretty much like that. So you can go here, uh, you can set so the bend radius is a lot more, you know, intense if you like. It could be like something like this, or you can have it like this perhaps, depending. You can even add some thickness as well, which is like a really small detail. I usually have mine just flat. And then of course uh, you can have it so that way there's a cropping um, if you want to have like, I guess, for a stylistic reason, maybe you want to crop um, or maybe you want to crop out some personal information. So that uh, is also a thing you can do, which is pretty epic of Wadido. So thank you Wadido for that. Uh, like you could do something like this basically. So it's really awesome. And then um, you can of course uh, even uh, have like the crop the like the sort of like corners basically like this, which is pretty nice. Uh, again, really up to you. Uh, just play with however you like. You can change the tint, you can add chroma key, like let's say you're capturing a VTuber. Um, you're capturing a VTuber avatar, like uh, you're doing a collab or something, and you have to chroma key them, you can definitely do that. Um, you can also have it always face the camera too while you're at it. And um, then you can have it locked to x-axis or maybe not. And then you can have it so it can receive lighting if you prefer. I personally prefer it without, but again, all power to you basically. And then I'll go ahead and scale mine. If you want to scale it in a way that you want to change the universal scaling, just click on this button right here and then have it so that way you can stretch it out even more basically. And pretty much there you go. That is how you can set up the screen prop inside of Wadudo. And now you can go to your stream and you can show everybody how to make some delicious, delicious food, basically. But either way, though, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!